Now, as we go along this Silao Silao Trail, uh, it will take us about 45 minutes to complete. Eh? Uh, as, as I go along, I'll be introducing to you the plants. And please do remember not to take anything nor leave anything behind. And that's the reason too, because this is a well-protected World Heritage Site. That's the reason why you can still see the things that I'm going to bring uh, to your attention. This is Silo Silo Trail. So let's now begin the fun of searching for our loving four seals treasure. Right, I have just found a treasure inside this Silo Silo Trail and I always love this particular thing. Yeah, so what is it? Let me show you now. It is a living fossil and it is right here. So I need to show you very clearly. Right, so where is it? Yeah, I want to show you right here. Come. This is the one that I'm talking about. The precious jewel orchid right here. Right. If you will find that this jewel orchid, it is very interesting because uh, this is actually a living fossil, by the way. Yeah? So it is a living fossil. And uh, living fossil means to say it is actually since uh, dinosaur era and even before that, right? It already exists. Yeah, so dinosaur, you can't find it already. So you have the dead fossil. So when we say living, it means it is still alive until today. Yeah, so you will find that. Why is it? This is actually, we call it a jewel orchid. Yeah, and a jewel orchid is, you will find that this particular species is endemic. Here in Kinabalu Park, it has nowhere else. It is nowhere else but here, right here, right? So you can't find it elsewhere unless you are talking about other species. Now, while if it is a living fossil, you will see that there are certain things that is very interesting. First of all, it has never changed. It has always been like that. So you will see that, you know, this line, this, this kind of a golden thread, yeah, the golden thread, actually can absorb three times the uh, sunlight than any other plant. Yeah, the reason is because, see, it is right here, it is very small, very, very small. Let me show you how small it is. This is my finger. You see how small is it? Yeah, so that's why there's a, it is a, always hiding in very damp condition. Yeah, very damp, the D-A-M-P, damp, yeah. And, uh, so it needs a lot of sunlight for it, yeah? So it, it needs sunlight. So that's why the silver, the golden threads can absorb three times the amount of sunlight. Okay, so I have just discovered something interesting here while I was looking for this jewel orchid. If you were to look, I have, uh, this is the bigger one, but it seems like uh, it's, it is actually a, uh, Almost, you can say this is going to die, yeah. But then I have the one that I show you just now is this, and I have a tiny little one. This is it. You see, this is so tiny, yeah. So these are all the jewel orchid. Yeah, the uh, jewel orchid. Uh, this is a living fossil, yeah. It can absorb three times the uh, what we call that the three times the sunlight than any other plant. That's the reason why, in fact, nowadays, uh, you, you find that the scientists are actually uh, making experiment, yeah, trying to make the experiment to see how can they actually use this into, uh, you can say to use this as a technology for those, uh, what we call that, uh, lights that we have, yeah, using solar system, yeah, how they will absorb three times the amount of uh, sunlight as well. So you will find that maybe even in future, even our power bank can be used in such a way as well by using solar energy. Uh, so this is, it is unique. So do you think that the, uh, with this kind of, uh, what we call that, that living fossil, there must be other usage as well, right? Uh, in fact, there are, we actually they are saying that some natives, they will use it as a, what you call that as a traditional medicine. But for us here, it is not so much, but you will see that 
in uh, other countries, like for example Taiwan, they would actually use the, the uh, different species, yeah, different species of this uh, jewel orchid. They will use it as a tonic, yeah, for their uh, liver, yeah, uh, and they will drink use the leaf to to boil water and then and drink it as a tea leaf. So it's interesting. So it has uh, actually quite a lot of things that you can, you will find that this jewel orchid is so treasured here because this particular species that you see just, you see just now, it is actually only found in Kinabalu Park. So you can imagine nowhere else in the world. So it is indeed really, you can say it's a very, uh, it's a treasure for us. So we are going to go and look and look for some other treasure hunt, look for some other treasure inside here. So please come with me again as we carry on. So where we will go, we are talking about maybe, well, we see how we can uh, actually go to another place now. Yes, I have found yet another, uh, what we call that, a, a, a living fossil for you to have a look. Yeah, and this is it. It is called a celery pine. So when we say celery pine, it is actually not a celery that you eat, not, not that kind of celery. And it is also not a pine, <laughs> right? So it's neither, but it is actually a conifer. Yeah, it's from the coniferous plant. So it is nothing to do with pine, nothing to do with celery, but a conifer. Now, this is, uh, like I mentioned to you, it is a living fossil. So it means to say it is something unique that you need to check. There must be something unique. So what is it? If you were to come nearer, come, then you will see this what you are looking at. This one I'm pointing at. I'm sure you will say that's a leaf, but I am very sorry that is not a leaf. Yeah, this is actually the stem. Yeah, so where is the leaf? If you were to see very closely at the side here, there's a kind of like very little furry thing. Yeah, the little furry thing. That's the real leaf. Yeah, so that's why I make it very interesting. Now, the celery pie, uh, you will find that, uh, uh, can it be eaten? But so far, I have not come across any literature or people's material that says that uh, people eat celery pine. But there are some other uses for it in other countries, in a different species again, of course, right? Uh, like in Europe, they are, you can say traditionally, they will use that to build wooden, like use the wood, yeah? To, to build houses, to build the uh, ships, you know, the, the ball of the ship. And also uh, in New Zealand, the Maori tribe, they actually use the, the stem as well, even for a uh, fishing rod and for the hooks. So there's a lot of things they can actually make use of it. That's the reason because it's very strong, the wood is very strong. So the New Zealanders, uh, the, the Maori people actually call it the strong man. So you can see it is actually, does it look like a strong man to you? No, right? Because if you were to go, if it is, this is a very small plant, yeah, a very small over here. But if you were to go up to our elevations of about uh, 1008 and above, you will see some of this, uh, uh, what we call this celery pine, it can be very big. Yeah, it can grow very big. So it is uh, not that, it is not a big tree. It can be a very big tree. Yeah, I'm going to show you some more that you see that it will be uh, bigger, right? So let's go and look for it now. Okay. Okay, you must be wondering what am I looking at right now? Let me just show you. This is the bigger celery pie. So this is the one how it looks like when it is slightly bigger. So you can imagine that if it grows into a tree, how would it be like, right? So this is the celery pie. Right, let me show you closely. Closer? Yeah. Okay, so now you know how it actually looks like. Alright, when it grows bigger.